Welcome to another edition of Dynatrace's Partner Cafe. I'm Rob Jan, a Solution Partner Advocate here at Dynatrace. In today's episode, we're going to be covering our great integration we have with PagerDuty. Let's get going. Let me start with an overview of how PagerDuty and Dynatrace are better together as platforms for our customers. Firstly, in the area of incident management, we're using the power of Dynatrace's ability to monitor the environment and use its AI to pinpoint problems and detect the root cause of issues. And this all feeds into the PagerDuty platform. We're able to harness the data from Dynatrace, engage the right teams, and use the power to automate workflows. For example, tickets can be updated in Jira or ServiceNow or whatever ticket management system you're using. DevOps and business teams can be engaged through chat op collaboration with bi-directional sync that's happening between PagerDuty and these tools. The real power comes when we're able to automate the remediation through automated playbooks. Let's get into our demo environment so we can show you what we mean. So in our environment, we have an application made up of a couple tiers that's being monitored by Dynatrace. And we're going to push a new build into the environment that has a known problem. Then we're gonna have Dynatrace pick up this problem. This problem information will be fed into PagerDuty where some event rules will process the payload, determine where things need to go, such as open a JIRA ticket and to Slack. Then our ops engineer is going to manually cause a remediation, which will cause a code deploy for Dynatrace to pick up and identify the problem's been resolved. So here we have the front end application with the back end services running in our demo environment. This is all running on a single host where we've installed the one agent. And what we can see on the host is information around the type of host it is, such as EC2, different metrics around it. And we've automatically picked up all the containers and processes that have been running on this particular host. And let's take a look at this quickly in the Smartscape view. This is the vertical topology mapping that was automatically picked up by Dynatrace. And each layer of host, processes, services, and applications are all visible. And this is something that we might map directly into PagerDuty as a technical service. So as you can see here, we've got a couple of services, the order, customer, catalog. We also have the front end application. Let's drill into this to see it a little bit more deeper. So here we can see information around what's happening. And if we drill into what's the service flow, now we have a horizontal mapping that Dynatrace has of the front end calling these back end services, these back end services in turn calling databases and other services. So by having a complete picture of the topology, as problems come up, we know where they're taking place. If we flip over to the PagerDuty side, now we can see that we've created a mapping of each of those Dynatrace services into a technical service within PagerDuty that maps to the corresponding team and on-call engineers and schedules that we want to define for this application. So let's switch over to the real power of PagerDuty. So as events are coming in from Dynatrace about our problem, we can ma match this to event rules that process the payload and determine what's done. As you can see, each of the services have been defined as a technical service and the payload is parsed and so that it opens up tickets and routes it to the appropriate action and service team to respond. If we go back to our application, we've deployed version two, which is gonna be this problem. And over in Dynatrace, we can see for that order service that received the deployment, we also pushed an information event into Dynatrace to let us know that this deployment took place. So we can see by matching the tags of the application that this job has been created by a Jenkins job and we can have a hyperlink back into that if we so wished. So now speeding this up a little bit, we can see our problem has been picked up by Dynatrace and, and failure rate is starting to occur on this order service. So now Dynatrace has opened up a problem card and it's important to note that this is not a single event. Dynatrace opens up a window or a problem card window to establish the number of users that are impacted, applications impacted, and also gets to the root cause by traversing the topology map to understand the cause and effect of where this might occur. On the PagerDuty side, an incident has now been opened. In this case, through the event rule, we've mapped it as a priority one. This has been pushed into Slack. Our engineers can acknowledge this and also use the mobile app of PagerDuty to see what's happening and understand the full timeline, see all kind of comments that are taking place. And then right from the mobile app, they can go into determining incident actions they want to take, whether it's adding notes. In our case, we're going to revert the order service because we know this was bad. So we will confirm this change. And through a trigger right within the PagerDuty side, this has launched our Jenkins job to revert our version one of the order service with the hope that this will resolve the issue. If we go back to the Dynatrace side, now we can see that 
deployment event has taken place to revert our version back to version 1. Same process of our Jenkins job. Meanwhile, our JIRA ticket has been opened and all this information around the problem as well as the incident can all be identified here with JIRA and tickets are automatically synchronized with PagerDuty. So if we demonstrate with a simple comment on our JIRA side that we've done this reversion of the uh, order service, we can save this comment. And we can see that it's been picked up in Slack automatically. If we jump now back to Dynatrace for the order service, look at the failure rate, it started to go away. This dark blue line represents the failure rate. So if we hover over here in our time series data, we can see that we were at 30, 40% of failures. And now with the, the deployment taking place, our failure rate has gone back to zero, which is what we wanted. Now at this point, our engineer can acknowledge that this incident has been resolved through their mobile app. And if we go back to our JIRA ticket, we can see that the incident has been closed. Slack 2 has been updated and my queue of open incidents has been gone. That's exactly what we want to see. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at the Real Rob Jen.